All right, y'all, we have six packages of ramen noodles, all right? Um, I just got the, the chicken kind. All right, so now we're gonna take the seasoning packets and we're gonna use three of them and just sprinkle it on top. Only three, all right. Not all of them, because we're making a delicious. Well, I, actually, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I haven't tried this yet. This is, uh, I learned this on the internet. Um, this is like a viral trend I saw, so I decided to try it myself. All right, and uh, this is the ramen noodles we use, six packages. All right, so our next step here, I have, um, a 32 ounce container of Rayos marinara sauce. So we're gonna pour this on top of our ramen noodles, all right? I'm gonna pour this whole thing on top. All right. And then we need to get all that goodness out. So we're gonna put some uh, heavy, heavy whipping cream in here, and however much is in here, I don't even know. This container wasn't full, but I feel like, I don't even remember how much of this I used. We're just gonna give this a shake, shake, shake. And we're gonna pour this on top. All right, so it's probably about, how much is in here? 16 ounces, I probably used a little bit, so almost 16 ounces of heavy cream. All right, just like that. Now, y'all, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get a little spatula. I'm gonna spread this out a little bit, all right? So we got our 32 ounces of sauce, about a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. And now, we're putting something else on top, y'all. Y'all are gonna love this. All right, oh, we're putting two things on top. I can't decide what order to do it in, but now I know, okay. I have a uh, one pound of cooked Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage, all right? So this was not in the viral recipe I found, but I'm adding it because I feel like it's gonna be delicious. All right, so one pound of cooked breakfast sausage. Jimmy Dean, I mean, I guess, I, I don't know, is it just only, it's not only breakfast sausage, it's, it's any time sausage, how about that, okay? Um, now y'all, I also have some ricotta cheese. All right, so we're gonna take some ricotta cheese and we're gonna use a little ice cream scooper and put some, some clumps of ricotta cheese all the way around, all right? Ricotta, ricotta, ricotta cheese, yum, yum, yum. All right, so I'm, I'm improvising a little. Y'all know how I do, okay? I learned this on the internet, but I'm adding my, my own flair because that's what I like to do, y'all. It makes me happy, all right. Ricotta cheese. Next, let me see y'all, I'm like, what do we have next? Mozzarella, all right? Actually, no, one more thing before that. Some, some herbs. So we, we're using some parsley, parsley, lots of parsley, all right. And then we're using some basil. Oh, that's a lot of basil, but that's okay, that's all right. <laughs> Little garlic powder, all right. And uh, that's it, I don't think we need salt because there's salt in the sausage. All right, now y'all, mozzarella cheese. Nice layer of mozzarella cheese on top. All right, just like so. Again, I'm in my, my shred my own cheese era, so that's what we did, okay? So we some, actually, yeah, there's probably like, I don't know, two cups or so of shredded mozzarella. I didn't measure, but y'all know, know, know how I do, okay? I'm just gonna use the rest, cause, cause why not? There's not enough left to do anything else with, so it's going on top of our delicious, maybe delicious, we'll see, we gonna see y'all. All right, now, pepperoni, okay? Um, I thought about not using these, but, the recipe I saw did, so we're gonna line up some pepperonis on top of this. We're gonna do rows of three because I like it pretty. Even though y'all know how sometimes I do, I make it pretty and then I make it messy at the end, but we're gonna leave this pretty because I like it. It makes me happy. Today it makes me happy, sometimes it doesn't. My mind changes daily, momently, momently. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a word, y'all. Okay, pepperoni, and now we're doing a little Parmesan cheese. We're almost there, y'all, we almost there. A little Parmesan, just a little sprinkle, sprinkle on top. Okay, a little Parmesan. This is gonna be a cheesy, delicious, yum, yum. All right, and green onion. I think that's it. I think I have everything I wanted to use. We put this in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes, and uh, we gonna try it together, y'all. I'm so excited. Y'all, Kevin's like over this, I, but I just told him he's the true star. He's the star. Everyone wants to see him, not me, right, baby? Everyone loves you. You're the, you're the internet superstar cat. Everyone loves you. All right, baby. All right, he, he's, he's over it. He's, I, I'm doing this new thing where I try and have a cat in every movie, but uh, sometimes they don't like it. So I'm just gonna give him a lot of treats and then he'll forgive me. That's what we do, y'all. We, we, they, they love me because I feed them. All right, y'all, so here we have uh, that ramen noodle pasta thing. Um, so this is something I never made before. I saw it on the internet. A lot of people were trying it. It was like a viral trend. I got a cat hair on my face, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I decided to try it. So uh, I doctored it up a little, obviously. I, I, I added things that I like to add. I added some sausage and some, um, I forgot what else. Anyways, let's try it. Uh, I cooked it for 45 minutes. I mean, I guess. I'm like, should I just cut it? It smells good. 
We use the Reyes pasta sauce. Look, y'all learn how to say it the right way. I know I was saying it wrong for so long and then y'all uh, helped me out, so thank you. Um, you know what? I'm gonna use this. Let's see if we can, if this is gonna work. This is gonna be real hot. Okay, y'all. All right. Oh my, oh, hold on. I feel like it looks good right there. The crusty cheese. It's gonna start falling, but that's okay. All right, y'all, we gonna try this. Ramen noodle lasagna, kinda? Mm -hmm. we, we're gonna see. That's what we're gonna call it, right? I mean, the noodles are cooked, which is great. Um, I mean, obviously, y'all, I think this is gonna be good. Oh, this ricotta cheese, yes. Y'all, I think this is gonna be delicious. Me and Bridget were just talking about how much we love ricotta cheese, so that's it. Story over. <laughs> Time to try it. It's gonna be hot, but that's okay. I think it's gonna be good. I don't know, what do you think, Bridgie? I think it'll be good. It looks good. All right, y'all, let's see. Let's see if this viral trend is like a, a flop or for real. Let's try it. Y'all, this is delicious. Um, like the point of using ramen noodles instead of pasta, I don't really know, but honestly, y'all, it's so good. Like I would make it again. So I'm not gonna put this piece in my mouth. I was going to, but y'all should try it. It's real good.